While the UAE Derby holds Kentucky Derby implications, Matt, of course, the big race of that huge, the richest card in racing on Saturday at Maidan in Dubai is the Dubai World Cup. In past years, I think we've seen some heavy favorites do what they're supposed to do. I guess we'll have a, a clear cut favorite in West Coast this year, Matt, but uh, I don't think he's the only story. And certainly from an American point of view, he's not the only story. So uh, West Coast, the horse to beat on Saturday in the Dubai World Cup. I think he's I think he's trying to prove that he is the best dirt horse in the world. He's close to that, but he didn't do it by winning his last couple of races. Now he looks to win one, prove himself as the best dirt horse in the world. But there's a lot of interesting options uh, nipping at his heels in Dubai. There sure is. This uh, Dubai World Cup is a uh, field. Uh, I, I think a field of 10 is likely to be uh, drawn uh, today. Um, is, is dominated by the American horses in here and, and horses, at least horses that also have run in America also. $10 million field. Th there's a lot of horses in here that have got some big bankrolls uh, uh, behind them. Like you said, West Coast is has won over $3 million. And, and you know, I just want to point out, West Coast has not won a race since the Pennsylvania Derby, and you said it before, it's time for uh, it's time for West Coast to win one. And the intriguing story is that we've got the champion mare, forever unbridled, three million dollar bankroll that she's won, making her final career start, and they decide to do it in the Dubai World Cup. She's a big, strong mare, and and I think. That physical dominance of hers will will make her competitive against the boys in here, Brian. Um, also in there, we've got uh, Pavel coming back with from Doug O'Neill. Um, seems like a tough spot to make uh, to to make a start. He hasn't won a race either since September when he won the uh, Smarty Jones. We can kind of say the same thing about Gunavera who's in here, won almost $3 million and, and has been competitive in a lot of big races, but Gunavera doesn't have a win since uh, August. Fan favorite, Moog Tahij, who's won almost $5 million, getting a lot of checks, but he hasn't won a race since September. And another interesting story in there is uh, the Breeders' Cup turf winner from last year, Talismanic, a star in Europe, um, won over thir $3 million, is going to take a try on the dirt in the Dubai World Cup. Well, Matt, let's uh, let's talk a few about a few of those. Yeah, Forever Unbridled is a nice story, and, and she's a quality mare, and she looks like a mile and a quarter might, uh, might be in her wheelhouse. I'm not sure yet but uh, i think we'll find out on saturday and we'll find out in time for her retirement basically it's her last race and she's trying to go out with a bang wouldn't surprise me like you if she did run a big race uh, pavel is continues in my mind to be a very talented horse who hasn't broken through yet they put him in a lot of tough spots early and he's had some bad trips lately so uh, if he runs big don't be shocked and then you got gunavera i think sooner or later gunavera is going to break through and win a big race Mile and a quarter, I tell you, with some pace, maybe this is the spot for Gunavera. Of course, last time in the Pegasus, uh, he was third best, but uh, uh, the top two were really out there all alone. Gunrunner doing his thing. And then West Coast was the only horse who could really challenge Gunrunner at any point in the race. So uh, West Coast deserves this favoritism. You mentioned Talismanic. I wanted to mention Talismanic, too, because what's interesting about him is obviously he's a horse that's developed. Uh, and gotten better with time. Breeders' Cup Juvenile, uh, I'm sorry, the Breeders' Cup Turf was a breakout performance for him. Big, strong. You're talking about big, strong horses. Look at the chest on Talismanic. And you know what's interesting, Matt, for this dirt debut, obviously he can go the distance, but for this dirt debut, uh, look at look at who's sired this uh, European horse, and you'll see it's Medaglia Doro. Uh, so there's good reason to believe, and obviously his connections have a pretty strong hope to put him in this race rather than the uh, the Dubai World Turf the turf race there, which is pretty rich as well. Not quite ten million. So talismanic taking to the dirt. It's a tough spot for his first dirt race. Uh, dirt race, but uh, Sonaman Dagladoro he could certainly take to it. Very interesting field for the Dubai World Cup. 
Matt, I uh, I am going to uh, say that Pavel runs a big race to to run in the money, but I can't look past West Coast as the horse to beat. Yeah, I agree. It's hard to look past West Coast in here. But you know what, Brian? I'm a big fan of Forever Unbridled. I think she's going to give him a run for his money. Yeah, she might be the second choice in here, Matt. That'll, that'll be interesting to see uh, the mayor. She's just uh, run so infrequently lately. It's hard to know, but she's working great. So good luck. That would be a nice story to see Forever Unbridled uh, go off to retirement with a big performance there.